Okay, so we want to make a turning insert. This is from Sandvix website. This is an ID turning tool. And we can check this out on the website here by, uh, you know, you would just type in into the search box whatever product you have. So if you're doing a, a turning insert, uh, you know, whether it's Capto or whatever, um, this will work for you. So let's take a look at how to do this inside of Esprit. So when we read in the model, since this is going to interface with the holder, we want the z-axis uh, going into the tool holder, the static tool holder block that would affix to the turret itself. So this is correct. And then the way that we want the insert facing, we want it facing along the X. So this is also correct. So the orientation, the positioning, where the UVW at the, uh, the XYZ point, this zero point in Esprit, should be exactly at the uh, you know, face, which would be flush with the, uh, the tool holder. And then this insert is rotated and oriented correctly. So what we want to do now is uh, basically just define our tool adapter positions. So we don't need any holder adapter positions for this because the only thing this works for is going to be for, you know, an, uh, a turning insert that uh, is going to mount to the end here. So on the machine, we want to basically uh, touch this off using the corner. So let's go ahead and uh, define that. So down here, uh, you have this selection filter. So it's this first one uh, right next to the coordinate values. So it's called the selection filter. If you click on that, what we want to do is we want to click on the bodies box to turn everything off. And then we want to just turn on the face. So when you click on the face icon here, you'll see a little box around that only. And then what we want to do is we want to just grab this little face that def that that uh, defines or you know uh, is the, is the uh, the corner radius, the lead corner radius that that is the cutting portion of that insert. And we want to come to home, go to show hide and then turn on our solids tab and make sure that this is on. And in here you could right click. And when you right click, you should get this menu and we're gonna wanna create a bounding box. And when I click away, we see this little uh, wireframe cube that is defined here. And uh, let's verify that this corner, this is going to be the corner that we would basically get on the machine when we touch this insert off. So that's what we want to use. And we're going to come here to geometry and just verify that it's also at the zero point. So we're going to click on this corner. And then it says down here, what is the second reference point? And I'm just going to type zero on my keyboard and hit enter. And that's going to go to the, uh, uh, you know, the P zero point or the XYZ zero point in Esprit. And we can see here that when I look at this from the axis, that this is kind of extended a little bit over. But in Esprit, we want to use this point right here. So all I need to do now is just to come to Home, to Translate, and pick this corner. And this is going to be my TA position. So I'm going to come here and type in TA underscore 1. And at this point, we can we don't want to save this out. We want to we want to get rid of this solid model. But what I'm going to do is do another tool adapter position because um, depending on how things go in the future, what I might want to do is just define the center point of this insert as well. So if we translate and I move my mouse, this solid has a, a center point on it. And I could just say, okay, let's let's grab that. And when I do that, uh, you know, we can go here and make a point by saying geometry point and do a Cartesian of zero, and then come to the rectangle again 
pick that. I guess I didn't need to make the point. I could have just snapped. And then it says for the second reference point, I'm going to do zero again. And we see that is created. And let's go to a clear view so we can see that a little bit better. And this is our position now that I'm going to go ahead and come to the home translate. I'm going to my quick access toolbar. So just really quick, you could right click on any icon and say add to quick access toolbar. And then you don't need to flip around. So if I'm in modeling, I could just come here to translate and just activate it right there on this quick access toolbar. So that's a really nice feature in Esprit. And here I'm just going to say TA and I'll call it center. So that's just a, a, a future thing that you don't necessarily have to do. I'm just doing it now. I don't know if it's going to be necessary or not. So at this point, what we want to do now that I've created that center is I'm going to go ahead and come back here and just turn on my full body so I can pick either faces or the full solid. And I'm just going to delete that insert because Esprit is going to generate an insert for me based on this corner position here or in the future maybe a center position. And now making sure that nothing is selected I'm gonna come to file save as and come down here to holder files I'm gonna say save as and now we can see what it looks like on the machine. So when we want to utilize this we're going to have to come to the tool assemblies here and on a station you're going to want to have a base unit you know for a capto uh, I got a C4 I got a C5 the, the holder on top of there but uh, then you're going to go ahead and right click on there and this would be add an adaptive item and then you would pick this item so this item would sit on top of I'm going to move this a little bit out so we can see that it would fit into, into there. So this is the HA position that you would have made on your tool holder. And then this was the zero point, the P0 point in Esprit. So this is the point that's going to match up with that previous location. And then we made that tip right over here. So when you make a tool, you're going to right click and say add a turning tool. And when you do that, the big thing here is you want to um, make the insert so that it fits. So in this case, uh, my IC di diameter is 375. I've got an 80 degree with a 5 degree relief angle. And what I want to do here is zero all of this stuff out. So these four values should be zero. So it ignores that and creates the insert right there at the corner. And that's pretty much it. We're ready to use it as we saw the simulation at the beginning of the video. Okay, so I'm doing the deep part with a narrow boring bar here. And then we're going to see the capto come in and do the remaining portion uh, just due to the depth. Just open up a file. And if, this is a C5 holder. I've got it mounted on a C4. Uh, just I didn't want to reprogram an entire file just to make a little 30 second clip for the video.